guys, it's Jesse here, and today we have a special guest. Look. Hello, I'm Luke. So today we're gonna test each other, see if we can recognize these common things in China and in the UK. So are you ready, Luke? Let's go. Let's go. The first picture is from me. I'm gonna send you this one. So do you know what that is? I have no idea. It looks like a ring, right? You put on your finger, but it doesn't look like um, a very expensive. It looks kind of. Like a cheap material or something. I'm not too sure. I I don't know. Is it a ring? So I can tell you, it is a ring. So you're right about that. But it's specifically used for sewing clothes. Oh, how? <laughs> its Chinese name is called Ding Zhen. Okay. So it's used to. You can put it on your finger. It can protect your finger from the needle. And you can also use it to push the needle if you're sewing something like really thick. Ah, oh, okay. I've never seen that before. I mean. My mum, she loves sewing, but yeah, that will help her. I'll have to give her some when I go back to the UK. Cool. I'll count you half right for that one. Half? Ah, oh, okay. You're you're a harsh marker then. All right. This one, let me send to you. I think this is a very tricky one. I don't think you're going to get this. Okay. All British people will know what it is, but I think people from other countries, even in Europe and America, I don't think they'll know it. So, if you get this, fair play to you. Let me see. <gasps> right. It's a water bottle. No, no, it's a lot smaller than that. Okay, so does it hold water or any liquid? No, not not any liquids. I'll give you a clue. You take it to school. Oh, it's where you put your pencils in it. No, it's it's really it's a lot smaller than that. It's um. Oh, it's a smaller. I don't know. Probably like. Yeah, maybe the same size as your index finger, I would say. Oh, it protects your finger as well. <laughs> no, I I, have no I, I'll idea. just tell you the answer because you're it? not going to get it. So this is something you would take to primary school uh, when you're, you're like five to eleven, and your mum or your dad they'll put some money inside, and that'll be your lunch money, and it'll have your name written on side on it on it, and you will give it to the teacher, and when it's lunchtime. She'll give it you, and then you can spend your money. But I thought it's really small, so it's gonna only contain like coins. Yeah, just a few coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really interesting. My second one is this. I think you might have seen it. It exists in other like Asian countries as well. Do you know what that is? <laughs> oh, this is so tricky. Um, is it a chopping board? Ah,、uh, it's some board. It's, like it's a board. I don't know. The though it's got like the indents in it, so it must have a purpose. For that, but I'm not too sure what. It's not like a cheese grater or something. It's not sharp enough, is it?、Um, is it for food? No, it's not for food. It's a board. It's、ah. for like other chores in the house. I'm trying to think what kind of chores you could have with this. This is like, I guess maybe it's something to do with your clothes or something. <gasps> yeah, you're right. Is it helping folding the clothes? I don't know. No, it's a washboard. You use it to wash your clothes. Okay, so. It's just somewhere to place them. It's okay. Not、right. just to place them. You you can rub them on the board to wash your clothes to make、ah. sure they're clean to make sure to get all the sweat off and everything. I've never seen this before. Do people you do people still use it? Yeah, we still have it at home. In Chinese, it's called 搓衣板 which means rubbing clothes board. Okay, your turn. Can you guess what this is? So they're candies. No, not a candy. So this is、um, for a specific. Festival and it's like a traditional thing we have on a certain festival. Can you guess which festival、oh, it would be? Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Okay. Apparently. So, well, what what is it? Oh,、uh, it's Christmas decoration. Um, no, not a decoration. It's sort of. It's like a food. An activity, like a no, not foods, not foods. Is it like it involves two people? Two people have to use it. Is it like a game? Not, I don't know. Um, not a game. No. Um, Two people use may, it. Maybe, yeah. It's yeah. Is it for? Yeah. So, so someone wins and someone will lose. Yeah. I have no idea. I have never seen that in like Christmas、right. activities. What is it? So this is called a Christmas cracker. It involves. Two people. You can see there are three sort of segments to it, right?、Mm -hmm. One person will hold one end of it, and the other person will hold the other end, and you just have to pull. There's sort of like this、uh, little piece of paper,、um, which will make a big pop when you pull it, and、oh. one person will have the middle part when it pops, and the other person won't. And in that middle part is going to be a little toy and a Christmas hat. And also a joke. I'm not sure really whether these are a British thing or not. I don't know whether 
like、uh, other countries would use them. That's really interesting. Okay, I'm gonna send this one. I think you are gonna get this one. What is that? Right. Okay. This is just like a a feather brush or something, which you you clean the house with, right? But yeah, it is. I'm not sure what the material is. It kind of looks like a hedgehog, actually. You know, in Chinese, it's called 鸡毛掸子 which means it's it's made of like a chicken feather. They're like real chicken feathers. I I I think so.、Oh, okay, it looks very luxurious. <laughs> Does it? Do you guys use that too in your house? Yeah, but it's just like a very basic, very dull grey one or something that we would use. So it's not、um, as, as nice as that. But yeah, to, to get into like the corners of the the rooms,、mm -hmm. you'd use something like that. Yeah. Okay, so you got that one right. Awesome. I need to give you an easy one. I hope you get one. I'm sure you will know. I don't know what's it called. It's for mail, right? Mailbox. Yeah, exactly. It's for mail. Yeah, we we would call it a, a letterbox or a postbox. Yeah. Yeah, postbox. Yeah, we、um, have it too. Yeah, these are very really. You have them. Yeah, we have it too, but it's green. Oh, I think I've seen these. Apps. Yeah, yeah, they're they're not as common, but、uh, do people use them? I think I've done it once. Yeah, but not that common. People just write emails nowadays. But yeah, we have them. It's not that common, and it's green. Oh, okay. During the、uh, Olympics, because the Olympics was held in 2012 in London, right? If、um, Oh, I can't quite remember the story. I think if someone had won a gold medal, then their hometown will have a golden postbox in in their hometown. Wow! So if you ever see one, you know. Oh, so an Olympian is from here. Wow, that's really interesting. That would be so cool. Okay, so you got that point. Okay, my turn. This picture. Let's see if you can get it. Oh my god, that looks crazy. What is that? That I don't think I'll ever guess what this is. This has got. Sometimes you can see on the street. It's used for making some sort of common food. Okay.、Uh, yeah, I was gonna say it looks like a whisk or something. So you can whisk like、um, butter and and things like that. I don't know. Okay. The food is common in movie theater. Oh, a popcorn maker. Yeah, it's a popcorn machine. 爆米花机 Wow. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. I love popcorn. I need to get one of these. So it looks quite old-fashioned, though. Is that right? Yeah, but people still use it nowadays. You can see it on the street, and I think you can still get it at home. Great. I'm a big popcorn fan, so I need to get some. Cool. My turn then. Right. Let's have a look. Is Custard? No, not custard. <laughs> it's oil. Um, sort of. So it's butter. No, not butter. It's sort of similar、oil. to butter. Is it for cooking? Yeah. It's like sour cream. No, no. You wouldn't want to eat this just by itself. It would, it would be used for cooking, like the same purpose as oil or butter. It's some kind of fat.、Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Some kind of fat from a specific animal. Pig. Pig fat. Exactly. It, it's pig fat. Yeah, it's pig fat. So we call this. Lard. You have a different name for that. Yeah, yeah. So it's not called. Yeah, we just call it lard. We use that too. Oh, okay. What 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 do you call it? Because in Chinese we call that 猪油 which means pig oil. That's why I said oil. I think I'll give you a point for that then. Yeah, you you, you got that. Okay. Next, what is that? An umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna say it. No. No.、Uh, well, I can't see the pole, so I I imagine it's to stop mosquitoes or flies get into food. Is it to cover the food? Yeah, you got that one right. Yeah, it's used to cover the food,、uh, like a, a net. Mm-hmm, like、uh, a net. We call that 菜罩子 the dish cover. No,、right, so that's a new one to me, but I can see the purpose. You know, so I'm gonna send you something similar to what you just sent me, sort of. Um, it's like it's an umbrella you use to, like on the beach, right? <laughs> see, I knew you were gonna say umbrella. No, it's not an umbrella. No, nothing like that. You can see the strings. Is it big or is it small? Yeah, quite big. Yeah, it can be. Quite big. Do you use it at home? Yeah. So、uh, you have it in the garden. Have it in the garden. So it's to protect the plants and everything. No, no, no. Not not plants. Think about the strings. They have a purpose. To hang your clothes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. To hang、oh, your clothes.、Really? So this is a rotary washing line, and yeah, you you hang your clothes out to dry. I'll give you a point for that. Well done. I didn't think you were gonna get it. That's a tough one. Wow. That looks very spicy. Mm -hmm. Right, so I'm going to guess this is mapo tofu. Is it? It's tofu, but not mapo tofu. See, I'm not a fan of tofu, so yeah, I I couldn't tell you which type it would be, but 
Yeah, it looks like tofu to me. Yeah. Uh huh. It's tofu. It's fermented tofu. It's like processed and then preserved. Oh, oh, that sounds terrible. I oh, I can't stand anything fermented. Oh my gosh. D do you like this? I do. I'm from Jiangxi oh, province, no. where people like to eat really spicy food. So I guess you are not a fan of stinky tofu either. No, not at all. No. In some places, we just call it mei tofu, which means molded tofu. The the name alone is it frightens me. So sorry, I will not be trying that. <laughs> okay, you sent me a food. Let me send you one now, and I'll be interested to know whether you would eat uh, this. Let me see. What could that be? That's some rice in a pig intestine. Um, no, not at all. It's um something else inside. The outside is edible as well. Yeah, yeah, you were pretty much right there. It's encased. In a, a stomach. It's beef. No. Lamb. Yeah, it's lamb. There we go. Oh, really? Inside is the the sheep organs. So you'll have maybe she sheep brain, sheep heart, sheep kidney. You put all of that together, and then you wrap it around with the the stomach. And this is called haggis. Have you heard of that before? No, never. Oh my god. Yeah. Equally, I would never touch this either. Um, <laughs> This is actually a Scottish tra tradition, so this is a uh, Scottish food. But yeah, w would you try this or not? No, brain in a stomach. Well, I don't know. Well, I know Chinese people they like to eat pig brain. That's quite a yeah. I don't eat that though, but yeah, a lot of people a lot of people like that. But this, how can you call that a dessert? English people, I think, would never touch this. In Scotland, a lot of people have tried it, but if you go to England, Wales, other other countries. They won't touch this. They're all like repulsed by it. You're from England, right? I'm originally from Northern Ireland, but I grew up in England. Yeah. Oh, grew up in England. Okay. Over to you then. Okay. This one. Do you know what that is? <sighs> what is that like? It's not food. A it's sticker not food. or something. You're meant to. Is it like a sticker you put on yourself? Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, like a sticker. But do you know what that is? Like what for? Mm, I I really don't know. I I. Don't think I could possibly guess. Is it something? I no, I don't know. I <laughs> can you give me a clue? You don't need this when you're well. What? So if you're ill, you would use this. Is it like a, a heat pad or something? To I, I don't know. It's a plaster. So the black part is Chinese traditional medicine. When you've like a back pain, you put it here. Then it's gonna relieve the pain. Oh, does it work? Yeah, I've never tried it, but both my mom and my brother have tried it. Yeah, it works. No way. Oh, I've, I've got a really bad back at the moment. You know, I need to get one of those. Okay, that was a tough one. That was hard. In Chinese, it's called Gao Yao. Again, never seen it before. So, what is it? It's a sign. Wow, well, yeah, there we go. Point given. Let's move on. <laughs> what, what is the sign? What does it tell you? No walking. No, it, it's for cars. Don't drive over the grass. <laughs> no, no, no. Nothing to do with the grass. That's just where it's placed. Is it close? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but what signs could be for the car? Red signs in the UK generally mean not to do something, and white sign, white and black signs, that would be like a regulation. There's a, a specific rule with this that you have to follow. Um, I have no idea. What is it? What does it mean? Okay, so this is the national speed limit sign. So, but there's no number. See, that's the thing. So. Uh, we have lots of signs with numbers, which will say like 30, 40, 50 miles an hour, and that will tell you you can only go that speed at the maximum. This is the national speed limit, meaning um, it depends on the car you have, the vehicle you have, and what road you're on. So for example, if you're on a motorway or a dual carriageway, uh, the, the national speed limit of a regular car would be 70 miles an hour. but if you're on a coach or a bus, it goes down to 60 miles an hour. That is the limit. So it, yeah, it all depends. That's why there's no number on it. So you have to know when you see this, how fast can your car go on specific roads? Wow, that's impossible to know. No point for me. Okay, another one for you. And this one looks kind of similar to the last one. I hope you get this one. I think you're going to get this one. Right. I think I know this. This is um, like a heat pad, right? 
Mm -hmm. If you've got stomach pain, maybe you'll put it on your stomach. We call it nuan bao bao. For example, if you're outside shooting, you can't put on too much clothes, but you can put this inside so it can warm you up immediately. But you're not supposed to stick it on your body directly because it's gonna burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I I've tried it actually. Yeah, and a lot of girls use that during their period, like put that around their stomach. It really helps. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so one point for you. Great. Okay. It's a bus. No, not a bus. It's smaller than that. It sells ice cream. Yeah, absolutely. It sells ice cream. You can see the two ice creams on the front of it, right? Yeah, there we go. So it is an ice cream truck. Do you have these in China? In some like tourist attractions, but not like everywhere. Ah, oh, okay. So so these are literally everywhere in the UK. What is that? That looks like something to. A, you put something inside, obviously. Um, it looks like a a phone holder like you, you put your phone inside right when it's cold i don't know or maybe is it I mean, no I mean, it doesn't it's not hand warmers because there's no like finger things like you would have on gloves it i don't know it's something to keep you warm right it's not something to keep you warm but you were right about the part you put something inside you put your hand inside and you will clean surfaces with it what surfaces? You clean the half of it? I'm gonna give you like a half point for that because you do put your hands inside and you do clean but you don't use that to clean the house you use that to clean your body during shower What? Really? What? Why? They're like scrubbing gloves for shower because especially in the north that's really common to like um to use those gloves or some sometimes I think they're like stones you use that to scrub your skin so you can get rid of all those like dead skins and stuff Wow Oh, okay. What is it? This is dessert. Yeah? That's definitely chocolate outside. Looks like a worm or something. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're nearly right. It's chocolate worm. So do you think it's like hard or soft in the inside? Don't tell me there, there's meat inside. No, <laughs> that would be very weird. No, no. <laughs> okay. It's, so it's a cake. Uh -huh. So inside it's like a, a sponge. So this is again yeah this is like my childhood so this is what every child will have for their birthday this exact one uh i'm gonna give you half a point it's not a worm it's a caterpillar okay mm -hmm. so it's called colin the caterpillar cake looks really good i've never seen it though i'll give you a point that was a that was a good guess okay the last one i have what is this it's made out of metal no it's not metal it's another material. Well, it looks like a fridge magnet you put, or maybe like a something you pin on your clothes because it looks very small. Okay, it might be a little bit bigger than the picture. Yeah, I, I really have no idea. It looks something related to the, the ocean, right? So you've got someone on a, a battleship in the sea, but I have no idea how this could be connected to anything or any use. What could it be? I don't know. I'll give you one tip. Do not pay attention to the pattern inside, but the whole thing. It might have like different patterns or styles. It looks like a photo frame, I don't know. Okay, no point for you for the last one then. <laughs> okay, it's a, it's ink stone. An ink stone, oh okay, so it's like a decoration, right? No, not decoration, You. it's one of the four treasures of Chinese calligraphy. So you put ink inside. I mean calligraphy is super super difficult. This looks, wow, this looks insane, like the amount of detail. The last one then, what is that? They're stools. No, they're super small, very small. Super small, are you put them on your fingers again? No, 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 no. L look at the shape of it. The, like, the shape is there for a reason because the th you put something inside it. That's your clue. So you put something inside of these which are the same shape as these. Does it have something to do with food? Yes. Is this some kind of mold? Like popsicle mold? No. It says Pringles <laughs> for chips. Ah, uh, you can see. Yeah, you, you, you can see that you got the writing on it, right? Pringles. Well, we call them crisps. You, oh, Americans yeah. will call them chips. I know. But um, yeah, so yeah, there we go. So you, you take them uh, maybe to school, you put this in your lunchbox, and you put like maybe 10 Pringles inside. So it's like a, a little container to put <gasps> them in. Oh my god, you have a special container for crisps. Not just any crisp, for Pringles. Oh my god. <laughs> Pringles uh, are insane. Do people still use them now or just back in the day? Oh, uh, I don't know actually. I, I've not seen them for many years. I've not seen them since I was at school. Mm -hmm. So, I, 
maybe they're not around anymore, but um, it's kind of like a useless invention, right? Like, they're not, <laughs> they're not really important or needed, but uh, they look cool. Yeah, they do. Absolutely. Okay, so I think you won though. So how many have I got? Four. You told me that I was leading. You, you've won. You got five and a half. I'll give you oh five and a half points. So well done. <laughs> okay, so I yeah. won. Yay. Thank you. Have, you. have you ever lived in the UK before? No, I have never been to the UK, but I've always wanted to. I was going to go before COVID, but no. But you know more about it than I know about Chinese culture. And I live in China. So there we go. You're just... A genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, Luke. And guys, don't forget to subscribe to Luke's channel, which is L Love, Love, what is it? Living La Vida Luke. If you can't remember, there's like a, a song for it. There's, um, it's Living La Vida Loca. So it goes upside, inside out. She's Living La Vida Loca. But you just change it for Luke. Living La Vida Luke. Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.